This is a Prince Pete. Prince Pete. Prince Pete. Exclusive. What's good? What's good? What's good? Everybody, it's your boy Prince Pete, man. Uh, I am back with another man. Uh, today, I want to get back on the subject, man, um, about the violence in Chicago, man. And you know, and like I expressed before, I expressed to y'all that you know that uh, you know I was born in Chicago, and uh, you know, and I, I got a pretty good idea of a, uh, about exactly what is going on in Chicago. Um, I got criticized a lot about the video that I did about Chief Keith and uh, his police investigation, and, and what that was in that Chief Keith video. Um, you know, it wasn't really, it, it, you know, it, it wasn't really about Chief Keith. He, he just a part of that problem that's going on in Chicago. But what I did is I used him as a catalyst to talk about what's going on. Um, you know about the violence and the gang violence is going on in Chicago, man. Like you know, I I was just researching. I was just you know I was just doing my little research, and I you know I was looking up some stuff on 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 the um, um on some websites and stuff, and you know and they and they told me that, I mean it had been like almost 400, 500 murders. Um, in Chicago, and they and they all been due to majority of them has been is due to gang activity, man, gang violence, and uh, you know, and like I tell y'all this story, man, before I get into the, the whole thing, I'm gonna tell you a story. I, I remember to this day, I remember I was about maybe about 12 years old, and uh, you know, I was down in Chicago, I was visiting my 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 grandmother. Um, over there on uh, 63rd and Aberhart, if I'm not mistaken, when she stayed there, and I think, uh, yeah, yeah, sister at Aberhart, and you know, and and me and my cousin, we was walking from my grandmother's house. We were just walking. We was kids though, and and, and I remember to this day. And I remember when a, 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 another kid, but he was a little older than me, he pulled up on me and rolled up on a bike, on a bicycle, to myself, to myself, what you is, nigga, what you is, and. At that point, I was affiliated with people that was in the gang, but I wasn't really into it like that. And uh, you know, and I'm like, I'm not, I'm nothing. And he like, he like, throw down the fire, throw down, you know, throw down the fire, throw down the fire. So I wouldn't do shit because at the same time, you saying throw down the fire, you can mean you can that could be a trick for me to throw down the fire. Then nigga, you do something to me. So me and my cousin, we kept walking. We ignored the nigga. We kept walking, kept walking, kept walking. And uh, you know, all of a sudden, here come another dude pulling up on a bike. Both of them pulled up on a bike. So the second time he said, "Throw down the fire," uh, you know, he pulled out a, a pistol. It was a little deuce deuce. So I never forget it. We walking, and you know, I'm not gonna even lie. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna act like at that at that age. I want just fucking. Like scared as hell when he pulled out, you know, the fucking little deuce deuce on him. So he like throw down the fire, throw down the fire, and so we still ignore. Like, you know, we like oh shit. So if y'all know Chicago, Chicago got a lot of fucking alleys. So we walk in, we see a fucking alley, and I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, I'm finna fucking run, I'm finna run, and you know, and and I'm telling my cousin that he like, man, no nah, hell no, nah, that's the last thing you want to do. It's run through a motherfucking alley. Like, nah, nah, nah. We 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 totally dead then. And and, and the funny thing about it, because I remember and it ain't funny, but the funny thing that I remember about it, because I remember I was smoking a cigarette too. Yeah. I was twelve smoking, thirteen smoking a cigarette. And I remember I was so fucking scared I like like dropped the damn cigarette. And uh how it all ended is that uh we actually end up uh you know throwing down the five man because we was like man we trying to get shot get killed and, and you know but the dude still kept fucking with us like and, then, and i thought for sure he was gonna like shoot one of us in our back or, or our leg or some shit like that but you know it didn't get to that point we got to a point where it was a lot of people um, around like a a, a store a corner front where a lot of people was around and shit and uh you know 
and, and, and I thank God that it, it it was around a lot of people and shit, and the dude just let us the fuck go, you know, on some game banging shit. But you know, I tell y'all this story because this is the type of shit that's going on in in in, in the community in Chicago, man. This is what's going on, man. And it's like, uh, you know, these young kids, man. The reason why these young kids doing this, man, because it's like it's almost like they have no fucking opportunities. They have nothing to to. You know, I mean, they have nothing to look for, man. And, and you know, and I blame, I blame our government. You know, I blame, um, you know, I, I blame the communities. I blame, you know, uh, uh, you know, I just, I blame, I blame because for the simple fact is that, you know, uh, Chief Keith and Lil Reese and all them goofy motherfuckers, them just a part of the story because what it is is that the industry is 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 um. It's banking on deaths. They banking on this. They want, uh, you know, Chief Keith and all these stupid motherfuckers to do stupid shit so they can get more notoriety and sell records. Do y'all know this? And that's the fucked up thing about the music industry, man. And and they, you know, they they, you know, they sitting there banking on our kids, our family, our, um, you know, our generation. To just fuck up. You know, they banking on that. They don't give a fuck. Do you think they give a fuck? Do you think them people that sign Chief Keith in the scope records, you think they give a fuck? Hell no, they don't give a fuck. You think Def Jam records who signed Lil Reese and, and he's smacking the shit out of, out of the females and, and, and doing this and got guns and, and, and just, just, just doing the gusto. Do you think they care? Hell the fuck no. They don't care. We got to come together. It, it, it ain't going to be, you know what, I really don't think it's going to be no government. I don't think it's going to be no, um, uh, uh, no big entity to, to, to help Chicago get out of what, what it is, man. What it is is that they have to give these young people the opportunity to do all they can be and not have an opportunity where for them not waking up in the morning, not having opportunities, not having a job, not, um, you know, not being able to feed their kids, not being able to, you know, you got to give these kids some type of opportunity, man, because this is going downhill. It's going downhill, man. And it's like, what else is left? What else is left? Is the fucking army going to take over Chicago and, 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 and be walking down the street constantly? Like, what else is left? You know, I, I want y'all to tell me, man. I want y'all to discuss with me, man. I, I really do. I want y'all to tell me. I want y'all to discuss and have a discussion with me, man. What do we need to do? What do we need to do as a community, as um, black people? And the reason why I say black people because guess what? White people are not getting killed in Chicago. White people are not getting, uh, you know, n n not up there uh, 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 doing 20 to life like black people. So I'm, 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 I'm talking to my community, my people. I'm talking to my people. What do we need to do? How can we do it? And I thank y'all, man. And I thank y'all for the continued support, man. You know, um, um, okay, okay, okay. It's your boy, Chris P. And, uh...